What's up guys, Gormo here and welcome back to another episode of Gormo Gang FC. Today is a big day. We have division rivals, we have foot champs rewards. Not that the best, but we do still have them. And by the end of this episode, we will have the base icon pack completed. Now, there is two to complete. EA did release one yesterday at 6pm. However, I won't be completing it due to the fact that I want Thandasar. I, I want Veron. I want Alessandrine. I want all these lower rated cards that basically, by the time we complete the base icon, we could also have these three cards crafted. So, that is what the aim is going to be for today. Now, we are going to hop straight in and we're going to go and claim our... We'll start with the Division Rival Rewards, we'll just claim them, and then we'll open all the packs at the end of it. Now, right now, I am in desperate need of the fact that we need players in this club. I have literally nothing, and I have grinded the club to its core, and we, we genuinely don't have anything left. Now, as you can see there, we haven't also re-qualified for Foot Champs, due to the fact of we only finished in Silver 3 this week. Now, that's okay. Because I should be able to, by the end of tonight, have qualified. So, I play a lot of games today. Um, so, we're starting off with one of two foot champs picks. Max 84 rating. This isn't the best team of the week. So, I'm happy that I didn't push myself to, say, go and play gold or something. Whereas, like, next week, or, like, for this weekend, for next week rewards, I do want to try and push myself. So, hopefully, we can get Rafinha in this pack. EA are going to give us... Oh, now I packed Newhouse last night as a team of the week. However, this guy Zwayback did a tweet about him, and supposedly he turned into this phenomenal player if you add like a maestro to him and just ramp up his shooting and dribbling. Now, part of me wants to go with him because of that. However, he is Danish in in the Danish league. So he's Danish in the Norwegian league. That's even harder to link. I feel like I should go with him. However, it makes more sense to go with Newhouse because of the fact that he is Bundesliga and I can just link him to players. So we'll take Newhouse. Not amazing, but at the end of the day, he will help us at some point. And then we do have 11 packs in store, so we're going to start off with all these 15k packs. The best thing about next week's rewards is we'll also be in Division 4 because I stayed there from Div Rivals, so that'll be a nice thing. Um, but hopefully, we can start off. We do start off with a board by the looks of it. It's going to be a Spanish left winger. Hopefully, you guys well. No, it's going to be the other one, which is Munayin. So, again, more fodder into the club, which isn't too bad. Um, the other problem I have for this video is right now my catch card isn't working on my main monitor. So I'm currently having to use one of the secondary monitors I have for the PC to run it through like the programs that I use. So basically, I can't actually tell if it's a board or not. So I'm just hoping that they're boards. If they're not boards, then that's my fault. But yeah, I it always does this thing on a Thursday morning and I just don't think it likes the mornings, so yeah, who knows. Um, another thing that I did want to talk about was the fact that we have more 15k packs than I thought. <laughs> um, but also the fact of, obviously we've got Team of the Tournament coming up on Friday. Now, usually I would save all of these packs for Team of the Tournament due to the fact of you've got something to pack. However, because we want to just literally gut this club again and get the icon pack completed... I really don't want to kind of waste any sort of time and I don't want to waste any sort of chances that we're going to have with these packs. So obviously like the likes of this pack, I should really keep these players. I should really go and do the 81 SBC and I should really go and do a double upgrade 81. However, just for the sake of the video, I am going to make it a lot quicker um, and not do that. We do have the two player pack, which will quickly open, but yeah, usually I would save these packs, but I just want to get this icon pack done as quick as possible. I've already completed the 87, so that is the main reason to why I am going to go ahead and still complete it. If I hadn't have done the 87, I probably would have sat and done the um, Vandasaur SPC, and then I would have done the Veron SPC. So, 
it's kind of like put me in a worse off position doing this second icon pack which is the main reason i'm not going to do the third icon pack it, it just comes too quickly where we don't have anything in the club to use but at the same time if we were to pack something really good i would be more inclined to do it so say we went and packed like Gerard Torres or like Dagleish or Pele or Maradona or anything like that I'd be more inclined to do the next one however I, I don't know right now we'll have to see but for the time being we'll complete the icon pack if we get something good we'll just kind of carry on with the one that we're doing right now Um, another thing that I know a lot of people are doing on Road to Glories right now and I should be doing is like saving all packs for team of the season now for me team of the season is really good however i just know that i will probably be more beneficial to sit and grind packs and sit and like put all my club assets into packs kind of when everything comes out instead of kind of sitting here now saving up these like 50k packs and 15ks and mega packs there's just no point in me doing that and the reason there's no point is because the way that I run my club, I constantly need players in the club to kind of do different SBCs and just kind of develop the club differently. Whereas like some people will just go and spend coins on marquee matchups. I'd rather go and use players in the club on marquee matchups because looking at a team like this, like with this pack, you could probably get two teams done with it. So that's kind of why players in the club is beneficial for me. And hence why I'm not going to do like project team of the year. Um, however, that doesn't mean that team of the year is going to be small for me. I'm 100% going to be putting on more FIFA points because that's just what I do every year. And I'm probably just going to be like genuinely putting more hours into the account than like I ever have done. And I do sit and spend a lot of time on this account. So we'll have to see how it goes. And um, we do pack Shadow and Hunter in that pack, which is quite nice. But apart from that, we haven't really had much to write home about, so it does look like these rewards are just going to end up giving me like the basic players that I do need. Uh, we do get a, I think this is a board in this pack. Yeah, it's going to be a Belgium goalkeeper, sadly, so it's only another 83 rated. But yeah, considering we had like 11 packs to open, our best player has been this Castiles or the Munayin. We do get another Hunter and a Shadow, so again, just add into the club, it does help. And I'm hoping that these are going to be all tradable cards is my hope there is two untradeable so what we'll do is we will go and put them quickly into the SBC. and again it just shows that i am kind of really grinding this account and not really letting players go um so we'll go and do an 81 double upgrade obviously these are only here till six o'clock so i have not got a lot of time to grind this icon pack which is kind of why i wanted to open these packs if I did have more time on my hands, I probably would sit and do like an actual like upgrade for it. But there is just no point to kind of put like, I don't know, a thousand bronze players into 180 plus pack. There's just no point in me doing that. Um, we did have another card. Now, the problem I have is because my capture card isn't working, I can't see two, the two players. So I'm going to have to use up here so we can throw in Criate. Got Abraham, got Dest. This was the other guy that we needed. Okay, perfect. Yeah, again, because of the capture card not working, I couldn't tell what I was actually doing in my club, which is class. But um, we can throw in Sane. And then the final player that we're going to use is going to be hopefully from like a non league or something. We've got Hernandez, Klosterman. Um, we use Everton. We don't really need him. And then it is just a case of staying in the SPC um, and going back into it to get some sort of chemistry. I don't know where from. However, if we maybe throw it all like that. And then if we do that and that up there. So we still need 10 chemistry, um, which is a slight problem. Maybe if we... If we take out this guy and actually put him in for Paredes and maybe go with a Brazilian striker if we have one. I don't know if we do. That is the only problem. We've got Richarlison. 
maybe we throw in to Harvey. So we're on 43 chem. And if we swap them two around, that gives us a big boost in chemistry. However, we're still not quite there yet. Maybe if we go with the Premier League just to get that extra link to Henderson, we should be all right. Um, but yeah, this is kind of like how I've just been sat playing on this account, literally putting in the basic of basic players. We'll throw in Simicast in there and then we'll go and get rid of that because our duplicates were Kunde and the left winger. So that is more than fine, yeah. So we've got the 81 plus pack there. Hopefully we can get something out of this. Obviously we've got the 250k pack, so it might be a case of we've got to go do another two of these. But in a sense, it is a case of like no man left behind. We're not gonna like we're not gonna go full out and like not discard non-red golds. I'm happy to do like one or two, but at the same time, I don't want to like not get rid of six rares that we just got sitting in the club. If we do go and get another board. It, is going to be an 84, I think. No, it's 83, Jan Moutinho. So, again, joint best player right now. And um, Thankfully, we don't have any of these rare plays in the club, which is quite a pleasant surprise. Um, usually, you do have at least one player sat there, so that's quite a nice 50k pack. And then, to finish off the 50ks, we don't get another walkout. It is going to be boards, though. And it's going to be a Swedish striker, so it's going to be Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Um, or probably known as Zlutan Ibrahimovic, uh, probably in the next few weeks due to the fact that he is still battling with EA. But who knows? So to finish off this little part, we've got a 281 double upgrade. Hopefully we can get something from this. We do get a walkout. That is fantastic. It is what this grind is about. It's going to be a French left back from Man City. Oh, it's in for Mendy. Wow. Okay, that's a nice card. Do you know what? Not bad at all. 84 in form Mendy. A very nice card. 80 pace, 80 dribbling, 80 physical, 80 defending, 81 passing as well. That is a really good card. We could have something behind this as well. So only seen him on Mignoli, but Mendy's currently going for 55k. So that's probably one of our best pulls that we've had in a while. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to go and get into a load of upgrade packs. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. So just before we get into the upgrade packs, I just want to kind of show how I've built the icon pack right now. So the 86 rated team is fully complete. Obviously, we've got a good few players in here, which they are going to cost a bit, like, if we ever want to get them back. The Falcal is untradeable, but he does have a discard price of 70k. So if we ever wanted him back, it would cost quite a bit. But apart from that, the rest of this, I am more than happy to get rid of. So we can go and submit that for a two rare player pack. And then what we'll do is we'll go and have a look at the others before we open the nine packs now. Um, the 85 rated are quite easy to do. In here, we did have Aspilicueta. So as you can see, this one is going to cost like more than what I'd want it to due to the fact of I'm using a lot of 83 rated and an 85 rated team. Obviously, we need that boost. So... Hopefully, we should be able to get it. Now, I do have Onana, which we can use instead. Once we get a position modifier onto, say, Tadic or Munayin, we'd be more than fine there. So, this team is pretty much completed. All we need is an 85, 86, and a 90. So, hopefully, we can get some good pack luck and get something like that. And then, in the other one, we just need two 87s, an 85, and an 84. So, again, we're not using any, like, duplicates. We're not going between the two. So it is just a case of we've got Berardi in right mid. He's our inform, nice and easy. And then the rest is just we might have to pick up or buy. So hopefully we can get some decent pack luck from these nine packs now with the extra two player pack. So we'll open the two player pack first. And then we've got three 281 plus packs and then five 81 to 87. So it is just a case of if we don't get anything from them packs, then we'll probably go and do another 81 upgrade because we'll have enough rare players or i might change it and we'll go with because we'll probably have enough players we need like seven rares per 82 plus pack so we might go and do that we do start off the 81 to 87 with a board it's going to be a spanish right winger so it's going to be 83 rated porto we've just got rid of him into the spc so it's probably a good thing um what I might find is like the second 85 rated team, we did need like 84s, 85s. What I might do is instead go and buy a 90 rated player. Again, 
and kind of like just put like a few more 83s in. So I'll see how it works out, see if I can make it any cheaper or not. We do want to get Felipe Anderson. Thankfully, did use him in these packs as well. We would be getting a lot of duplicates by now if I didn't use some of these players. If we do get a duplicate, I probably will discard it unless it's a boards. And um, this one is a boards as well. So we get a Portuguese right back. Is this Ricardo? Oh, it's Cancelo. But Ricardo Pereira would have been fantastic. Instead, we get João Cancelo. Again, not amazing, but an 83 rated. We can't complain from just five non-rare gold, really, and six bronzes. That's the best things about these packs. They don't really cost a lot if you are going to make them. Again, no walkout, no boards either. So we don't have the best of pack look in these. I can't lie. I don't really like them as much as what I thought it was going to. But, you know, we can kind of work with it in a sense. Um, so again, no walkout and no boards. It is just going to be a case of if you look in, you look in. If it's not in, then you're not going to pack anything. Um, but to kind of round up, we've got the three, two 81 plus packs. So hopefully we can get a walkout here, which would boost us. It is going to be a board, so that is a bit of a start. It's going to be a Colombian striker. It's going to be Zapata. So again, another 83 rated. He may be useful to us. We'll have to see. And Jared Moreno. So he'll sort us out on the chem on the first 85 rated team. Hopefully he can drop us another walkout maybe. No, no walkout. But we do get boards again. So hopefully this can be like an 85 rated to boost us. It's going to be Brazilian right mid. It's going to be Lucas Moura. Okay, so... Probably not somebody that I'm going to submit into an SBC because he is like a good meta player. So we'll keep hold of him and then Iniesta can be sent to the club. And then to finish off this little bit before we go and submit all the icons, obviously I will go and buy all these players. We get a walkout. This is fantastic. I think that could be another inform though. It's going to be a Spanish goalkeeper. Is that? Yeah. It is an 86 rated though in Pacheco. Now, what I'm thinking is he would work very well in the second 85 rated team. And we do get Carson as well. Wow. A double team of the week pack. Um, EA giving us a bit of luck there. I mean, this pack is probably going to be better than what most people will get in Elite this week because of how poor the team of the week is. Um, so we'll send all that to the club now. We'll go and quickly have a look at the second 85 rated team because of that. The fact that we'd be able to get rid of Berardi. And we'd be able to put in um, Pacheco instead. I think that might help us out with a bit of rating. Um, but what I will do <clears throat> is if we do need to go in, like, say I don't get any sort of extra packs from now until, like, the end of the video. If we do have to go and say, buy all of these plays, it's going to be about 150k to do. Now, for me, that's not awful. Granted, 150k isn't, like, fairly cheap. But... I don't think it would be that bad to go and like spend 150k on these players. Um, we do have like poor two that will work in this team, thankfully. So maybe he can go in there instead. And then we'd be better going for a... Can we go like an 85? Can't go with an 85 rated. Could we go maybe with an 84 instead here? If we can go with an 84, we can go with an 83 as well. So we'll probably throw in like an 83 rated here. Probably throw in like a Serbi maybe. And then we'll pick up the 287. So that's going to be about 60k from them two. And then from this, it's going to be about 15. Then it'll be another 25. So that's going to be 40k. To Stegen's about 60k. So it is literally going to be pretty much spot on 150k to do. So what I'll do is I'll go and buy these players. And we'll be right back. All right, guys. So as you can see, we've got the 85s both completed now. So we did have to go and spend a bit of coins on this. We went and picked up an Oblak for 69k. So it's taken us up a little bit in price. And then we went and picked up a Parejo for 11k. So on this SPC, it did cost us 85k. Looking at what it costs on Footbin, it's about 150k for an 85 rated team. So we've cut half the cost at least for this, which I'm more than happy to submit. Obviously, we do get a 7.5k pack, so we'll open that now. If we get something out of this, it will help, and it means we can save a bit of coins for the other pack. And obviously, you can see we've got a different pack animation. We have now switched over to the new gen, obviously the next gen um, FIFA. So it is going to be slightly different, and obviously the likes of like the gameplay is just so much quicker. Obviously, right now, with it being on the capture card, 
it's a little bit laggy for me personally so this might not be the best quality so i do apologize but it's kind of what we've got to go with um it's for the other 85 spc again pretty much most of this is from the club a lot of it being first owner so we went and bought a chiellini and an immobile apart from that everything else oh sorry and a coke as well so in this spc it's cost us 70k so all together with the other 80k that we spent it's cost us 150k to do this I'm more than happy to spend 150k. We paid, I think it was 60k for Testagen for the 87 rated. So realistically, we paid 200k for an icon. Now, even if it is a bad icon, which I'm prepared to get, I'm more than happy that we've got an icon for, say, if a Gerard or a Torres came out and you need an icon in their SBC, it saves me going and buying an icon for 200k. I can just go and use one of these. So. We've got Fernando Hierro in the first one. We're, we're going to see what we get out of this election pack. This could be where our luck is and we go and pack a Pele. If we can do that, that would be fantastic. But not by the looks of it. Personally, for me, I don't know how this colour is going to look after. It does look really bright on the capture card, so we might have to try and sort that out. Um, but a few silvers into the club there. And then this is what you're all here for. This is what I'm here for hopefully we can get something we're doing a nose pack so ea please give us something good hopefully the ea gods are with us we're gonna hopefully get something it's an icon it's a walkout <sighs> come on dutch ah now i can't lie van der Sar is great don't get me wrong, he is really good. I haven't completed... Thankfully, thankfully, I have not completed Vandasaur Icon SBC yet. So the 84 and 85 rated SBC from that, we can now put into Sebastian Veron. Personally, I would have liked to get an Icon that we wouldn't have been able to pack. So say even if we got like a Deco, that would be better. So I would have preferred an Icon that we could only pack. Whereas like, because this is in the SBC right now, he's quite cheap to do so i'm a little bit disappointed however at the same time you know would it have been cheaper to go ahead and do the v um, the van der Sar sbc yes it would have been cheaper than that icon but at the same time for me he is a very usable player and somebody that i will be using for pretty much the rest of the game Um, i don't really see myself changing much with the icon team Um. Especially with like in a goalkeeper, unless we get like a team of the year, Allison, which I don't think we will this year. There's no point. So Van der Sar goes into the team again, fits in, not much of a difference. I would have preferred a striker personally. Even the likes of a Crespo up front with Martial would have been good. But I think this is how we're also going to now run the team for the weekend league. Um, I'm going to play with it in division rivals just to really test it out. See if there's anything I want to change. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to add a chem style to Martial now. I I'm thinking of just fully maxing him out. 99 pace, 93 shooting. He'll be fantastic. So obviously this is how we're going to run. The bench is one of the strongest benches. I am actually going to swap Bale for Carrasco. And the reason is I haven't used this Carrasco card yet. He looks incredible. Everybody I've faced with him, he's done like really good things against me. So... You know, we've got a really strong attack on this bench with Carrasco, Anaki Williams, Texiera, the midfield of Witzel and Taliska. Mukieli can move into midfield if we need. Fernando Hierro is on the bench, mainly because he is just an icon. Um, so it's just a bit more of a, we'll show him off if anybody looks at the team. But obviously in-game, how this team is going to run, we are going to really kind of stick with the 4-1-2-1-2. One, two, one, two. Um, ben Yedder and Martial as the strikers, Malay and Akam. We do move Trent into the left centre mid. It's more of a defensive position for him. So he will like stay back. Whereas Pogba will go forward in the other centre mid role. Uh, Thomas Partey in at CDM. We will eventually swap him out for Veron. I want to do that by next week. So with squad battle rewards we should be alright to do that. And then in defence it's Mendy, Veron, Van Dijk and Joe Gomez in at right back. I feel like he plays very well. He fits the meta quite well. Very quick. He's not like too tall, so he doesn't feel clunky. And obviously, now we've got Van der Sar in goal. If we do need to change, we do change to the 4 3 3 2. And that's like 10 depth, like full out attack. We go with that. So 
yeah this is how the team is going to run all right guys so to finish off this video and to finish off the grind of all the like upgrade packs we're going to finish with a team of the week pack i'd like to pack a griezmann just as a different card to use for the club obviously we're just using everything else that was left from the icon upgrades um sadly i didn't get around to doing a lot of like the like the league specific upgrades i did want to do a few of them but i just didn't have time to do them obviously we didn't fully complete doing alessandrini however i feel like over the next two days i can probably make enough coins to go and buy him instead so like buy all the plays we need for the sbc and then we're slowly going to start the grind on veron obviously we're packing the van der Sar. we may as well go and use veron um a little bit annoyed that i didn't do a lot of certain packs like i'd love to have done more of the 81 plus packs but we'll have to see obviously we've got marking matchups coming out on the thursday so that'll be in tomorrow's video um but yeah to finish off hopefully ea can give us something in this team of the week pack is it going to be a walkout it's not going to be a walkout it does seem to be our luck right now our walkouts have stopped but it is going to be a french right back we do get Aguila. Not the worst player ever. Will help for the league earn objectives. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'm out. Peace.